Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Vegetables as crisp as a winter's morning. I've returned here to Riften. To seek out someone named Esburn. Hello. And I think I must start here with Brynjolf. Fresh Glad to see you finally came to your senses. Ready to make some coin? No. Actually, I'm here to speak to you. I'm looking for an old man hiding out in Riften. Ah, expecting free information, eh? What? Help me deal with business first. Then we'll see how I can help you. Besides, you look like your pockets are a little light on coin. Am I right? Let me find him first. Dragons are bad for business. Aye, you've got a point there. Your guy's hiding out in the Ratway Warrens and paying us good coin for nobody to know about it. Well, until now that is. Tell you what, go ahead and deal with your business for now. When you're done, find me and we'll deal with mine. Well... You can think that way, but I'm not going to like work to with thieves. Permits? Ah. You've never seen me all this upset about anything. Vigilant me all. Good to see you. You know, I am on a mission. Me old told me that it isn't this bad everywhere. Perhaps you Maybe should come with me. Maybe one day I'll venture me. out and see if she's right. A fine day to you, friend. May you die with a sword in your hands. Follow me. I'm right behind you. Mjol's brought me nothing but safety and peace of mind. And some lessons with the blade. Since you've moved back to Riften, and decided to keep your position with the Vigilant, you might as well help me clean out the underbelly of the city. Huh? So, how have things been going, Mule, now that, uh, Aaron doesn't have to take that trip to and from Riften to Solitude? I hope everything is going well, and you're both happy. We do miss you, though we don't miss Aaron. I'm on assignment. I suppose I should fill you in. I'm on assignment. Let's, um... I've got some notes here. About the dragon situation. It seems to be getting worse. People are dying. They're getting killed. So I've had to step in. Since I am, arguably, the dragonborn. So here's what I have scrawled down. The Thalmor are just as puzzled as we are about why dragons are returning. I learned that they are looking for a blade named Esburn, who is supposed to be an expert on ancient dragon lore. I've also learned that he is hiding out in the Ratway Warrens in Riften. So I don't know if you ever came down here much, often, or at all, but there is something afoot here, and we need to investigate. Come with me, Vigilant. It's good to be working with you again. I do have to say I'm glad you decided to remain a Vigilant, even though you're not with us in solitude. I think having your presence here brings hope to the people in Riften. Sure, it tastes great. Only one problem. You 
said it can make the darkness as clear as the day when you drink it. But guess what? It doesn't. Am I responsible if the vintage was off on that case? Sorry, you know the rules, Veckel. No refunds. Alright, here it is. The Ratway Vaults. Let's go. Wait a minute. Isn't that a Thalmor? So... The Thalmor are here. In Riften. Stand ready, Vigilant. There's another guard. Is someone there? They're not There's here to the talk, it seems. Careful, my old. Ah! Ah! Don't you see? Elvin supremacy is the only truth. Where did the others go? You wish to defeat me? Impossible. Truly ready to die. Oh, she's already down there. All right, well, I'll... Okay, he's got nothing. There's a trap here, me old. You anger one, you anger two. This way, Espern cannot elude us, fool. You are but a dog, and I am your master. Look out. Ah! 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 The ah! Thanks for having my back, friend. <laughs> no problem. Thanks for the distraction. It allowed me to cast my resurrection. I'm sorry. It allowed me to cast my resurrection spells without interruption. was supposed to work. The, there's the rat. Interesting. It's more resistant to my resurrection abilities than the Thalmor. Restoration. Why am I saying resurrection? My restoration magic. Alright, I'm not sure where this Esburn would be. Stay on guard. What have we got here? Someone's workbench. And braces of lockpicking. Raven's bow.
see about your... You don't seem to be able to swing your sword. How can I help you? All right. Just follow me. Might have killed all of the Thalmor. I won't bite. Promise. I think you're someone that Stendar is asking to be put out I of have his a mercy. For you. A nice shiny present. Everything all right? I'm warning you. I'm gonna eat well tonight, my darling. Are you? Ah! Spare me, please. to think that that meat there might be uh, human. Or I'm sensing death is highly overrated. What? Come on, come on. Go ahead. What who is this? Somebody help. Are you really going to come up here and stab me? Spare me, please. You're a disgrace to your own kind. All right. By Stendar's mercy. No! That's how a true Nord fights. Since Stendar has not taken his blessings from me, that was a righteous kill, just as this chef was. Now, there was someone else walking around here in robes. Oh, hello. They were golden, even when they were dead. But their blood was red. I knew it would be. He'll tell you. Just ask. You don't even need to ask. He'll tell you anyway. You don't think there's any hope, do you? Hm. I don't. He's right. Who was he? Are you talking about R.K.? You sound like someone they were golden, I know. Even when they were dead. But their blood was red. I knew it would be. Right, he doesn't seem to be in the best of mental capacity here. All right, sir. Good day. Hmm, those boots, were you in the military or did you take them from a corpse? Come on, let's go. Wait, here's the robed figure. The, is this death? Out with a fool. Ah. 
out with it. Interesting. There's nothing out in these robes. The out with it, fool. Why do you disturb me, mortal? I've nothing to discuss with you. I wish to know the name of the one who haunts these warrens. I am Dagrilon, the greatest and most powerful mage who ever lived. But that was then. I live no more. Life and death are but words. You stand here, as do I. No, you wretched fool. Death is more than a word. It is a cold hand of rotted flesh, hissing air as foul as a goblin's whisper. Life does not flow through this shell. It is as empty as your philosophy. You mentioned that you were a mage. No, Worm, I did not. To call me a mage is to call the Direni Tower a fortress and the Red Year of Fire. It is a testament to my prowess that I exist on the mortal plane, even as my body decays in death's hollow embrace. <laughs> exactly how old are you? I have wandered through Tamriel since the day of the Broken Diamond, when Queen Potema reigned in solitude. Mm, I see. Queen Potema, who is no more. Only a lich could survive for such a long period of time. Like a fish scuttling on land, you flap your gills, your feeble mind attempting to grasp what is beyond your comprehension. Lichdom is a fool's bargain, for necromancers content spending eternity as skinless wraiths. With a sleight of hand, they control their corpse like an avatar, as their souls are bound to phylacteries. I did not prescribe to such cheap necromancer tricks. I sought the path to true immortality through the techniques developed by the Sigic monks. The Sigics? Tell me about those techniques. The Sigics could send their voices across great distances their voices manifesting as living ghosts in the ether of conjured space. It is even said that the Sigics could disrupt the flow of time, moving freely in the infinitesimal space between this world and the void. I succeeded in achieving the opposite, to have my body held in stasis as time flowed around me. Oh no, that doesn't seem like that's working out for you. <laughs> Your pathetic taunts mean nothing to me, mortal. Time did not vanquish me. It was betrayal. And how were you betrayed? The spell surrounded my body in a cocoon of lost time, at which point I would be invulnerable from all outside influence as time passed around me. However, in the instant I returned to the mortal plane, my body would be at its most vulnerable, as the soul sought to gain control of its faculties. The assailant knew this, but the fool was careless. What do you mean by careless? The blow was struck as most of my soul remained in the void, and my body had yet to return to time. When the spell was interrupted, my body became trapped in slowed time. As such, it took fifty years for my soul to regain consciousness. It took one hundred years for the dagger's wound to bleed out of my neck. Two hundred years before I could conjure movement beyond the slow of time. Yet, two centuries later, my body still continues to wait for a spell that will never finish, and a time that will never resume its normal pace. Hmm.
tell me about your servants? Of my servants, there were three whom I trusted with guarding my body during the transfer. Fame the Illusionist, Marius the Warlock, and the cleric Irulan, who herself left the Sigic Order to serve my will. Together they were powerful, but on their own they were nothing more than worthless sycophants. Such was the reasoning behind their selection. Yet only one managed to betray my will, and kill the others in the process. Hmm. Hmm. You can never trust a warlock. The simplest answer, for Marius had the faculty, but he lacked the desire. The Warlock was a torturer. His service was bound not by his desire for immortality, but his unquenchable thirst to burn and maim the living. Hmm. I provided a haven for him to conduct his experiments. To deprive me of my life is to deprive himself. There must be a reason for your fixation with death. Your pitiful mind clings to beginnings and ends when the point of the matter lies between. It is decay that I find abhorrent. Metal rusting, wood withering, skin rotting. This disease of time is what I aimed to rectify. Even now, as you stand here before me, mortal, the sweat pours from your body. The water trickles from the ceiling, cutting away the stone at your feet. The mold grows in the shadows, poisoning the air with its toxic spores. It matters not if the subject is a great man, a majestic palace, or a shrine to the gods. Decay will claim them all. Decay is a natural part of life. The impermanence of beauty is why it's special. Foolish thoughts hissed from a tongue that knows only youth. In time, mortal, you will look upon your reflection and see nothing more unnatural. All right. I certainly don't want you as a follower. So I will Be depart. Gone. Yes. I certainly will. And hopefully you'll stay out of trouble. Because I don't want to have to come down here and destroy you. Okay, looks like this is where Esper right? lives. Yes. Let's see if we can get it up there. Go away! Esber, open the door. I'm a friend. What? No, that's not me. I'm not Esber. I don't know what you're talking about. It's okay. Delphine sent me. Delphine? How do you... So, so you finally found her. And she led you to me. And here I am, caught like a rat in a trap. Hmm. That's one way of looking at it. Uh, Delphine needs your help to help stop the dragons. So, Delphine keeps up the fight after all these years. Yes. You'd better come in. And tell me how you found me, and what you want. But how did Mjol get this in? This will just take a moment. I tell this you. one always sticks. There we go. Only a couple more. These people with these hidden abilities that they don't tell you about. There we are. Come in, come in. Yes. Make yourself at home. It only took you two hours to open the door. 
And you. Everything you, all right? <laughs> you need to tell me how you did that. That's a nice trick. Please come in. I'm coming. That's better. I'm coming. Huh? Now we talk. Okay. So, Delphine keeps up the fight after all these years. I yes. thought she'd have realized it's hopeless by now. I tried to tell her years ago. What do you mean it's hopeless? Haven't you figured it out yet? What more needs to happen before you all wake up and see what's going on? Aldwin has returned just like the prophecy said. The dragon from the dawn of time who devours the souls of the dead. No one can escape his hunger, here or in the afterlife. Aldwin will devour all things and the world will end. Nothing can stop him. Ah, I tried to tell them. They wouldn't listen. Fools. It's all come true. All I could do was watch our doom approach. Alduin. That's the dragon, the black dragon that I've seen. The dragon who's raising the others. Yes, yes. You see, you know, but you refuse to understand. Well, I know that it wasn't the Thalmor. I think that's what's most important. But what you're hinting at is that you're talking about the literal end of the world? Oh, yes. It's all been foretold. The end has begun. Aldrin has returned. Only a dragonborn can stop him. But no dragonborn has been known for centuries. It seems that the gods have grown tired of us. They've left us to our fate as the plaything of Aldwin the World Eater. I wanted to remain silent and let you finish for dramatic reasons. So I must tell you, Esburn, that it's not hopeless. I'm Dragonborn. What? You are? Can yes. Can really be true? It is. Dragonborn? Yes. Then, then there is hope. There is. The gods have not abandoned us. We no. Must, we must, we must go quickly now. Take me to Delphine. We have much to discuss. I'm sure but we do. Me, just a moment. I must gather a few things. I'll need is, is there anything in here? No. A strong box? No. Ring of Edelin's Edge. One-handed attacks do 22% more damage and block does 22% more damage with shield. You might want to have that. I annotated anyone. Anything else? I'll take those things. One moment. I know time is of the Elixir of Hell. Leave secrets for the Thalmor. One more I must bring. Um, Iron Dagger well, of Denting. I guess that's good enough. Let's be Not off. sure what Denting does. All right, you've got quite a I'm assortment of books. Fight. Are you? Well, I think hopefully we can just walk on out of here. Let's go. What can I do for you, friend? What? Esben, you were just on this? All right, I... I... Wait a minute. You're you're a, a a mage, a sorcerer, aren't you? Okay, now I get it. All right, let's go. What was that? Oh boy. Trouble. Let's see. What shall we use? I'm just going to go ahead with regular mason shield. Come on. Saw someone skulking about. There's the blades agent. Kill him. You are but a dog and I am your master. Now here we are. What is that? Now. 
Where's Esburn? Mjol, you're really not doing well with your swordsmanship today. What? Oh, it's Esburn's Atronach. Where is Esburn? All right, we have Esburn and Mjol back there. Let's go. Look, there's a Thalmor up there. That's all of the Thalmor. So Esburn is some sort of mage. Interesting. How can I help you? All right, let's sheath our weapons. We don't want to cause an incident with the Thieves Guild. All right, let's go. What did you do with Esburn? Esburn. Well, he was right behind us. Esburn, is everything all right? Hey, did you say something? Why are the Thalmor so interested in finding you? Well, they've been hunting down blades since the Great War, on general principle. But if you mean me, now in particular, maybe they've started to get an inkling of what the return of the dragons means. I don't suppose they want the world to end any more than we do. Or at least, they'd prefer to end it on their terms. <laughs> I'm sure. What happened on the 30th of Frostfall? It was a cold day. The end of Frostfall is nearly winter in the Gerol Mountains. We heard the news at Cloud Ruler by courier, riding hard from the Imperial City. 30th of Frostfall, 171. 30 years ago. The Great War started that day. The Thalmor ambassador delivered his ultimatum to the Emperor Titus Mead the head of every blade's agent within the Aldmeri Dominion. I knew that day that it was truly the beginning of the end. We should keep moving. Yes, we should. Are you coming this time? I 
Ah, oh, good. Mule, it's time for us to Everything part all right? ways. Yes, it is. It was good teaming up with you again. But my travels are going to Everything take me right? away from Riften, and I think it's time that you get back to Aaron. Can I help you? It's time for us to part ways. Such a shame. I thought we were getting along so well. I'll head back to Riften if you should have second thoughts. All right. And I'm hoping that you get some practice in with that swinging. It seems to be broken. All right, Esbern. Let's head to Riverwood. Hmm. Need Delphine. something. Huh? Why, it's hmm. good to see you. Yes? It's been a long time. It's good to see you too, Esbern. Hmm? It's yes? Been too long, old friend. Too long. Well, then. You made it safe and sound. Good. Come on. Yes? I have a place we can talk. Orgnar, hold down the bar for a mm -hmm. minute, will you? Yeah, sure. This way. Yes? I saw Orgnar staring over here. I'm sure this is quite a shock for a lot of people. Okay, stop blocking the door, people. Alright, who am I talking to first? Now then, I assume you know about... Oh yes, Dragon Ball. Indeed, yes. Oh, this changes everything, of course. There's no time to lose. We must locate. Let me show you. I know I had it here somewhere. Esbern, what? Give me just a moment. Oh. You see, right here, Skyhaven Temple. Constructed around one of the main Akaviri military camps in the Reach during their conquest of Skyrim. Do you know what he's talking about? No, Shh. I don't. This is where they built Aldrin's Wall to set down and stone all their accumulated dragon lords. A hedge against the forgetfulness of centuries. A wise and foresighted policy in the event. Despite the far-reaching fame of Aldrin's Wall at the time, one of the wonders of the ancient world, its location was lost. Esbern, what are you getting at? You mean, you don't mean to say you haven't heard of Aldrin's Wall? Either of you? No. Let's pretend we haven't. We haven't. What's Alduin's Wall, and what does it have to do with stopping the dragons? Alduin's Wall was where the ancient blades recorded all they knew of Alduin and his return. Part history, part prophecy. Its location has been lost for centuries, but I have found it again. Not lost, you see, just forgotten. The blades' archives held so many secrets. I was only able to save a few scraps. So you think that Alduin's wall will tell us how to defeat Alduin? Well, yes. But there's no guarantee, of course. Skyhaven Temple it is, then. I knew you'd have something for us, Esbern. I know the area of the Reach that Esbern's talking about. Near what's now known as Karth Spire, in the Karth River Canyon. We can meet you there, or all travel together. Your call. I'll meet you at Koth Spire. Your call. Might be safer to travel separately. Attract less attention that way. Don't worry. I'll get Esbern there in one piece. We'll oh, wait for you in your Koth Spire. Good luck. And good luck to the both of you. Orgnar, this is it. The inn is yours. I'm probably never coming back here. Well now, that's something to think about. Yes? Take care of yourself, Orgnar. 
Goodbye. Wow, a free yeah, a free sure. in for Tar. You have questions. It's amazing. Yes. Hmm. <clears throat> Feindall thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's a. You look like a traveler, someone that has seen faraway places and heard new stories. All right. It looks like it's off to Kothspire.